Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you part one of my Mexico vlogs. If you're new here, hey, I'm Alex. I'm a digital nomad and I typically split my time between LA and Italy. But right now I'm working remotely for a few weeks from Mexico. I typically post a lot of thrifting content on my channel, but I'm super excited to bring you more travel content because travel is a really huge part of my life. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in more Mexico vlogs and want to follow me through my summer in Italy. The trip did get off to a rocky start when our plane had to turn around for an emergency landing because they found a suspicious substance in the bathroom. They had a hazmat team board our plane and we were on the tarmac for six hours. So yeah, it was very interesting. Needless to say, we were very tired after landing late and getting our rental car, so we just went straight to our Airbnb. For the beginning of our trip, we rented this beautiful Airbnb in La Veleta, and we really loved getting to know this area. It's on the outskirts of town, so away from the hustle and bustle and all of the tourist traps, and a really beautiful area to explore. We decided to spend a big chunk of this trip exploring the Yucatan because we knew there was so much nature to explore. The area is bursting at the seams with natural beauty and wildlife, and cenotes are a really huge part of that. So every weekend we would jump in the car and go explore a beach or one of the hundreds of cenotes in the area. And of course, we would squeeze in a lot of delicious Mexican food. This was one of our favorite taco stands and Pepe and his team introduced us to so many delicious things like al pastor, arrachera, shrimp tacos, and more. Since I work a full-time job, it was really important to maintain my routine during the week. One of my favorite ways to take advantage of the warm weather was to go down to a co-working space. So this is the Selena co-working space and I would pay $15 for the day and would get access to their dedicated office workspace and also their beautiful pool and beachside areas. They had great Wi-Fi so I could take meetings and Zoom calls right from the pool and the beach. One of our favorite weekend trips was to visit Bacalar, which is about three hours southeast of Tulum. This is an incredible freshwater lagoon that's known as the Lagoon of Seven Colors. It is probably one of the top three most incredible places I've ever seen. The water is crystal clear. It feels like you're swimming in a giant pool. The first day we did a beautiful sunrise paddle and then spent the rest of the weekend lounging by the water. This is the Bacala Rapidos, which is a lesser known section of the lagoon and it is absolutely stunning. It's a shallower section with a current, so you get to hike your way up to the delta and then float your way back down. Every weekend was spent exploring, and one of my favorites was visiting Chichen Itza. This was on my bucket list for ages, and I'm so glad to have finally seen it in person. One of my favorite things to do when I'm visiting historical sites like this is to download a walking tour on my phone. That way I can explore at my own pace and really dive into the history without paying for a tour. We got really lucky because this day it was actually storming in Tulum, but after driving a few hours to get here, we got really great weather. In fact, it was so warm and sunny that after spending a few hours walking around the ruins, we really needed to cool off. We stumbled upon Cenote Ikkil and we were absolutely blown away. This was the most beautiful cenote we saw. It was cavernous and the plants were cascading down to create this incredible swimming hole. We also liked that it wasn't overpriced. It was $7 US per person and the facilities were really well maintained. You can tell how excited I was. Throughout our trip, we normally visited cenotes in the afternoons and we personally found them to be less crowded that time. And after a long day of exploring, we treated ourselves to a traditional arrachera dinner. The next day was also jam-packed with exploring, so we started off with a delicious breakfast and then went to the archaeological zone of Tulum. These ruins were incredible because they're right on the ocean. And yes, there's so much wildlife everywhere you go in Mexico. 
We loved this area so much and were so inspired by the views that we decided to book a boat tour. We paid $25 a person to go out on this snorkeling boat and visit a reef just off the coast of the ruins. It was a great way to see the ruins from another vantage point and of course see some amazing wildlife. This was so exciting for me. I actually wanted to be a marine biologist when I was a kid, so I was super excited to swim with manta rays and sea turtles. It was so cool to get to see these animals up close and swim side by side with them. Of course, always keeping a little bit of distance and letting these wild animals live freely in their homes, but I couldn't even believe it when this turtle just came up and took a breath right in front of us. On my next trip to this area, I'm excited to go scuba diving because our captain was explaining that this part of the Mexican coast has one of the largest reefs in the world. For dinner, I had one of my favorites, ceviche, with, of course, an horchata on the side. So delicious. Our last weekend in the Yucatan was more eating and exploring. We had brunch at Italda, which was delicious, and then explored Can Lum Lagoon. This is another freshwater lagoon, and it's only 15 minutes outside of Tulum, so super convenient for popping over even for half a day. We thought this was one of the most peaceful places we visited because there were no boats or jet skis. It's a protected lagoon and super relaxing and peaceful. And then we visited the beautiful Cenote Azul, which has tons of tiny little holes spread throughout a big park. We finished it off with one of my favorite cuisines, Thai. And that is a wrap for this portion of our Mexico trip. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Mexico vlogs and until next week, bye.